Hello everyone, this is Foxtech. This time we have the iPad in front of us and we talk about Safari on it. Now, the topic for today is how do you actually block Safari on iPad? Now, you can see I have it right here and if I really wanted to, I can just add it to the control center, I mean not control center, the dock right here, I can add it to home screen, but how do you block it? How do you get rid of that? Well, there are multiple ways how you can view it, but I'm gonna explain everything. So the very first option, as you know, you cannot hold down on it and like delete the app. You can only remove it from the home screen. In case you wanna like remove it from the iPad entirely, you have to do it through the content restrictions. So in the settings, you go to the main section right here and find the screen time. In screen time, if you have it turned on, you can see content and privacy restrictions. If you go in here and you have it disabled like this, then make sure to check the green check right here. And you have the allowed apps right here. When you tap on it, you can see that all of the apps are basically allowed. And if you wanna just make sure that a Safari never appears on your iPad, just uncheck it right here. So if I come back to the home screen, Safari is simply disappeared from the face of my iPad. You can see I cannot find it in the app library anymore. And even in the spotlight search, when I type something, I don't get the Safari results. I don't get a Safari as the app or any suggestions. So basically this could be blocking Safari on the iPad. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. But this is not the only way to go about it. For example, you may just have it like this. You may have the Safari set up on your iPad, but let's say that you want to remove it from the suggestions. So in that case, you can just find the Siri section inside of your settings. So you can find it inside in here. So if you go to the settings on the left side, you can see a bunch of different stuff. So in the settings, you can go to the Siri and search section and you can just manually browse through all of the apps right here. So in case you would find Safari in here, so I, I don't think I have it because I just removed it. Yeah, but Safari is in here. You can make sure that it doesn't show up in the search, that the content doesn't show, show up in the search, or you don't see it on the home screen, for example. This could be the option. It's not gonna be suggested on the home screen. It's not gonna be suggested at all. It's not gonna be notifying you. It's not gonna be any app so yeah you can play around with it this is technically blocking safari features as well not like blocking the entire thing but in case you don't want to see any results in the spotlight search in case you don't want to see or get the safari suggested to you in case that's the thing just go ahead and disable it right here in the siri and search section but yeah these are like the main ways how you can block safari on your ipad and also make sure that you have some other apps installed in terms of web browsing let's say you get the google chrome or anything else to make sure that you have access to the internet to begin with because that's that's kind of useful to you know to have access to the internet so yeah that's about it i'm gonna wrap up this video right here if you found it useful make sure to leave a thumbs up but most definitely subscribe down below because you don't want to miss the next uploads where i teach you some new things about ipad and i just help you solve your problems so definitely subscribe in case you have some potential problems in the future so you know where you can go so yeah thanks a lot for watching see you guys later in the next video